In a month, I'll be leaving the University of Hertfordshire with a funny hat and a degree, and I'm off to go and do... Well, that's the thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. My parents say it's a huge adventure, which I just think is their way of saying no house, no money. I do have some options. I could start my own graphic design business, become one of those really cool hip designers who wears t-shirts to work, designs sunglasses, makes oodles and oodles of cash, and then buy a high-definition widescreen TV. Alternatively, I could get some menial desk job where some Tweedy guy yells at me, where I make everybody's tea and biscuits, and then eventually save up enough for a high-definition widescreen TV. Alternatively, alternatively, I could get a job as a production assistant, where admittedly I'd probably be making everybody's tea and biscuits, land a job with BBC Radio Guernsey, I'd spend my days interviewing kindly little old ladies about stoats and otters and badgers and stuff until some guy in London hears me and thinks, he's brilliant. They put me on TV and my charisma and personality shine through and I make oodles of money and have no problem affording a high definition widescreen TV. In reality, it's probably going to be more like me, getting a job in a tiny cubicle, wearing a tie for 15 years, until I get a slightly bigger cubicle, same tie, and then eventually over the years I gain a large amount of weight, get bags under my eyes, develop a strange smell, develop a taste for anorexic prostitutes, needle drugs, and or panda erotica, in which case they put me back in the original cubicle because I'm starting to scare people. Actually that plan doesn't sound half bad. Hmm. Maybe the future isn't all that bad.